and though all its parts are many, they form one body. Right. So it is with Christ. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, mm -hmm. whether Jew or Greek, slave yeah. or free. That's right. And we were all given the one spirit to drink. Mm -hmm. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Right. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, right. it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. Right. If the body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? Right. If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. Yeah. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I do not need you. And the head cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that are seen to be weaker are indispensable, and the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. Right. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. While our presentable parts need no special treatment, but God has combined the members of the body and has given greater honor to the part that lacks it. Right. So these, or excuse me, so that these should, should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concerns for each other. Jesus. If one part suffers, every part suffers mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it, if you know Christ as your personal Savior. Right. And in the church, God has appointed first all, you know, he goes on to talk about the different offices, but the unity, that, that oneness that we have, the body, again, we can't look at one person and say that because they are this way, they're not a part of the body. Right. Again, he teaches us patience, too. He teaches us to help nurturing one another, to love one another, and to help one another to grow in that faith. So we need each other. We need each other. You can't do it alone, just like a coal. If a coal gets pushed out of the fire where they're right. all connected and they're burning good and strong, that one dies. Right. We can't let that one get over there to the part, part where they die. Right. So we need one another to encourage one another to life and righteousness. Amen. Amen. We're going to move on. We're going to ask Team Thompson. We're going to start out with Minister Anna.